Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a review of the new JXD 509G, the Pioneer model. This is a 5.8 gigahertz FPV quadcopter with a, five, a 2 megapixel camera, a 5.8 or a 5.8 gigahertz transmitter. Um, other than that, uh, it comes with a uh, 5.8 gigahertz receiver screen uh, that you as you can see here. Um, additionally, it includes one key return. Um, it includes headless mode, which you activate by pressing that button here. You can turn the lights on and off. It includes photo, and you can also take two megapixel video. Uh, this button here, you press it once, and the quadcopter will enter into idle. And then you, um, in flight, if you press it one more time in flight, it will do an automatic landing. Um, you have mode rates you can uh, adjust by here from beginner to intermediate to expert. And if you're into flips, you activate it by pressing the upper right button here. But all in all, let's go over the quadcopter a little more detail here very well built um, it seems to it includes structural braces here hopefully with the intent of uh, being uh, uh, resistant to crashes uh, we'll see uh, in future as his quadcopter is flown by more and more people but uh, looking at its camera in particular its camera can be swiveled up and down a limited amount of degrees I'd say about uh, plus or minus or 20 degrees downward and then level so you can point it about 20 degrees downward, but I'm going to keep it level for this flight. Other than that, it is a very unique looking quadcopter. Um, <laughs> pretty futuristic <laughs> looking. But other than that, you know, it's a 5.8 gigahertz flyer. But the big thing about this quadcopter is, if you notice on its throttle, its throttle is centered. This quadcopter has altitude hold. This is a new feature that's been popping up more and more on um, FPV flyers. This is a very important feature, I feel, that 5.8 gigahertz FPV flyers should have. Um, if you're looking for an F uh, FPV flyer, I recommend you look at the ones with altitude hold. They make it so much easier to fly the quadcopter that you don't have to worry about the altitude. What this does is, this has a barometer inside of it that will sense the altitude that the uh, quadcopter is flying at and it will maintain that altitude without you fiddling with the throttle. Um, others quadcopters are very can be very twitchy in maintaining a steady altitude. This one will just hold it automatically. That is a great feature. Great, great, great feature. I highly recommend it. Okay, I don't I don't know about this quadcopter, but I recommend out to hold. We'll find out about if I recommend the quadcopter here after this flight. Other things about this quadcopter, um, it has an on-off switch, which you activate right there. It has a 3.7 volt uh, uh, battery with JST connectors. Um, so, you know, it's your standard uh, 3.7 volt. I forgot what it's. Milliamp or hour, well. I'll tell you, I'll include a, a little link right here what the milliamp per hour is. I forgot the milliamp per hour. But there are JST replacement batteries out there. They're very widely available. They should be available for this hexacopter. So let's go for a flight of the JXD 509G Pioneer and demonstrate its FPV abilities. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I'm turning on the quadcopter with its on-off switch, which is on. Placing it on the ground. Turning on my receiver, my FPV receiver, and that's the view that it should be showing up right now, and it is turning on the transmitter, and but and uh, actually, I also want to turn on the camera before we take off here, and that is this button here, and I got it pressing it. Okay, I guess we have to be bound to the quadcopter first. Now we're bound to the quadcopter. Now I'm pressing the camera button, and camera is recording, and I'm hitting the idle switch, and we're ready for takeoff. We're recording, off we go. Giving it a little throttle and just setting the throttle right about there. Okay, that's the altitude hold feature, folks. It is very stable. Hello. <laughs> Again, this is a neat feature to have for all of these FPV flyers. I highly recommend it. Um, it's, it's, you know, it just greatly lessens the chance of you uh, impacting the ground. You don't have to worry about uh, maintaining the throttle. It just holds that altitude. Although mine seems to go down a little bit there when I went out a little bit too far. Let's take it up a little bit higher. 
right about there and the wind is bringing it back to me <laughs> this is the wind Let's see if I can adjust that with a little bit of trim on it there we go let me pull back on the uh, throttle trim a bit we're trimmed good enough okay let's take it around the field do some FPV flying fly toward the bandstand there the grandstand pushing forward I'm gonna have to go to higher rate picking up a drift for some reason folks I can't be the wind doing that Had a little bit of a drift there, and the drift. Oh, is, is that the wind doing that? Let's go down screen or down uh, in that direction up the field, and letting it uh, drift. That's a wind because I'm turning it sideways. Now it's got some kind of weird drift on it because there is hardly any wind here today, folks. I'm bringing it down. Lowering its position. It's picked up some kind of a weird drift. Let me see if there's a way I can uh, calibrate its gyros because that's unusual. I th think that's being caused by its camera. <laughs> Let's bring it down a bit, folks. All in all, it was great until it picked up a drift there. Landing. Oh, there is a breeze. That's a wind. I can feel the wind right now. <laughs> Okay, I'm turning off the camera now. Uh, the reason being, I want to save some power on this quadcopter for FPV flying. Okay, video coming off now. Okay, the rest of this flight will be pure FPV. Going back to idle. Wait a minute, let me turn it off a second. To turn this off, by the way, you have to move these uh, both of these down and out, both the pitch and the um, throttle, down and out like I'm doing here, and that will shut off the motor. Try to remember that if you have a crash with this particular quadcopter, you want to turn off that motor. Uh, the one thing I'm also I'm going to try is moving out and inboard, out and to the left, and out and to the right. And the reason I'm doing this is just seeing if there's a, a potential for gyro calibration by doing such. But going back to idle. And let's do the rest of this flight in FPV mode and see how it works. When I... I'm applying full trim on this thing. It wants to fly backwards for some reason. I think it's because of that camera. Or maybe I got it... Here, I got it trimmed. It was badly out of trim when I was started flying with it, folks. Seems to be working fine now. So we're going to fly around just an FPV and right now I want to see what is the range of this quadcopter I'm going to send it downfield we are at about 80 meters folks easily at 80 meters Okay, well, we went past the edge of that field, I believe. I gotta land it. <laughs> Don't run over it, folks. <laughs> okay, the range of this is well past um, 100 meters. You have control over it. Problem is, I believe I was in high rate. We'll find out when I get there. And that particular quadcopter in high rate, it, uh, I don't know if, for those of you folks that have done uh, distance flying, if you're in high rate, and I forgot I was in high rate, it is very easy to overcorrect. And uh, actually, I almost got run over by that car there. <laughs> the guy just kept flying through probably thought it was a bird or he probably thought it was a drone and he wanted to run over it but we are well past 100 meters 
and I was still having control of it. I'm close to 150 meters there, folks. I'm across the road. <laughs> I think that guy wanted to run over it. <laughs> That's, that's great. It has that much range. Okay, I have signal again. I don't know if I had FPV signal when it was out here. <laughs> I landed right in the center of the road. <laughs> I didn't burn out any motors because I don't think I remembered to turn off. Let's see if we still got uh, reception. Okay, we still got video. Let's see if we go back to idle. Yep, it still flies. That is a good, that's almost 150 meters. So they're not lying about the range here, folks. This thing has excellent range. Fantastic range on this thing. Okay, and it's a fast flyer here in the intermediate. But again, see, I over easily overcorrected it when I was at a higher rate there. Okay, I think that battery's running out there. Remember, when you hit the ground like that, turn it off like that. Okay, that's the flight time you get with it. Oh no, it, yeah, it's, it seems to be a very nice flyer. Um, I'm going to have to do more flights with it, demonstrate its uh, um, abilities in terms of uh, flight abilities, maneuverability and flipping and things like that and doing funnels. We'll try that in future videos. But this was the first look at the JXD509 and its FPV availability. It's very capable for FPV. Very good flyer. Hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101. Signing out.